Hello everyone and welcome back to FDL life number two. We have the option of going to either a rebel control area which is going to have a lot of things to kill me or an uncharted nebula. Which might not be that bad. I mean, we're not going to be able to utilize our our subsystems as well as we normally could, and we'll have a great chance of running out of electricity for things and plasma storms, but we do have a slug member on board our ship. I think we'll go for the Uncharted Nebula. Okay, so... Rebels are not going to be slowed down by the Nebula at all, which I think is kind of unfortunate, but... At least we have a slug member. All right, let's see, we'll go here. So it reveals more locations than our other spot did. And there's nothing here. Let's see, no distress beacons. I guess we'll just come, go straight to the next one. All right. What happened? I probably should have read that. But I I see what is causing the issue and we're going to take that out pretty much immediately. There we go. So that thing apparently can control one of our crew members. That is a pretty scary weapon. Ah, there's I missed. Fine, shoot the engine. We'll send an explosion up its tailpipe. Actually, the explosions did start out at the back. Okay. We'll take a slight detour from the path we've been on, which has pretty much been a straight through the sector kind of path. Ooh, that is fancy looking rebel ship. We can take it. Let's see, weapons first. And I'll spend one missile to drop the shields. If it fails, then there's no more missiles. And of course my burst laser actually hit the ship the shield before it was dropped. No, but we did set them on fire. Now let's start messing with them and take out their oxygen supply. No, we can't accept the surrender. You guys are rebels. And they can't have you reporting back to your rebel squadron. And now you're dead. Ooh, we got a lot more scrap out of that. And speaking of the rebel fleet, they're on their way. Alright, let's head down this way then. Let's see, attack the automated ship. Of course it's got a cloaking device. Well, at least we took out their weapons. You know, I really like the battle music of this game. Let's see. I think we can have this guy run up here. Cockpit doesn't do too much for us in battle, except make us more maneuverable. So we have a less chance of getting hit, but since he can't fire weapons, it doesn't matter. Ooh, we got a drone. Too bad we can't use the drone, but we can sell it for scrap at a store. Hey, a store! We are doing so much better this time around. Okay, so we have a drone that we do not need. Let's 
And now we can afford to fix some... Fix some... Broken... Items a bit. Provides 30 second power boost to your reactor upgrading increases the boost amount. Okay, that's cool. Hmm, we could get more crew members. Advanced FTL navigation. Allows you to jump to any previously visited beacon. FTL recharge booster. Drone recovery arm. We don't have drones, so that's not important. Hmm. I think I will actually take a crew member. Welcome, Maloney the Mantis, to the crew. This would be kind of nice, but... I'll pass on that. Breaching missile, that's pretty good. Hmm... But I don't care about it. Okay, so, Maloney. I'm going to station you... ...on the doors. It's not actually a... ...a thing to boost the doors, but... ...having the doors manned... Gives us pretty resistant doors. Which means that anyone who tries to get aboard the ship is going to have a pretty difficult time getting through the doors and might suffocate in the room that they're in. And we have plenty of scrap left over. I could upgrade something. Hmm. We'll upgrade the power once more. We don't really have the scrap to upgrade other things, but when we do, I can upgrade the shields to be more... Uh, I could give them a slight upgrade now, but they're not going to be able to utilize it, because you need two. Okay, so... Let's head over this way then. We'll try to hit as many of these before we take off. Nothing here. I guess we'll head here next. And now we're in a plasma storm. The good news is that he also is crippled right now. Let's see, we'll take our med bay offline and power up our dual lasers. You're trying to break into my shield room, huh? Oh, you're gonna fail horribly at that, sir. And now he's brought up his shields. Hmm. Let's have you retreat to that room. This guy is not going to be able to do anything. In fact, he's back on his own ship. Too bad for him, that's not going to do much. Let's make sure their shields are kept down. I avoided my shields being destroyed. Ooh, and now they're all aboard the same area. Oh, he's trying to escape. Okay. Doesn't matter, because our big beam of death just fired. That was perfect timing. He's powering up his FDL and trying to escape. Well, too bad. He's dead. Alright, we can drop that, bring the med bay back online to give our NG a little bit of repairs. Would it be repairs? They're like cyborg type people, right? Uh, 
I'm just shy of being able to afford another shield upgrade. Not that it matters, because we can't utilize that upgrade in the storm. Hmm, let's see. Eh, that's too bad. Okay. Let's jump for the exit then. Ooh, we could go here, but that's a complete dead end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rebel ships would be at the exit before we got back. Okay. So, that's going to be it for this episode. We went through an entire sector relatively without incident. And everything we were able to deal with pretty fast. So, hope you guys are enjoying the series still. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and fave, and I will see you in the next video, whenever that may be. Take care, guys, and goodbye!